Hey there. Hey Louis. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So you remember, we've seen that if I have an electric current uh, in a wire, I will generate a magnetic field around that wire. So moving electrons generate a magnetic field. Well, it turns out the reverse is also true. If I have a moving or changing magnetic field, I can create an electric field and an electric current. Okay. So look at this setup. So what do you have here? Well, so this is a galvanometer. So it's a mechanical electric device that measures current. So it's pretty old-fashioned here and I have just a big arrow and it's going to measure current either plus 5 or minus 5 amps uh, depending on the direction of the current. And then that's just connected to a really, really long wire. Uh, very, very, very many turns. Just one big wire twirled up in some, some coil fashion. And uh, that's it. And right now I think it just reads zero, right? No current. You won't be able to generate any current though because you don't have a power supply. Aha, well, where we're going, we don't need roads or power or batteries. We just need magnets. Oh, right. I remember from the Faraday's, Faraday's law of induction that a moving magnet will generate current in a closed wire. Yes, exactly. What happened is that the electrons want to oppose the change of magnetic field. They want to keep the magnetic field constant. So let me see, I put my magnet. This is a North Pole inside. And now they, I know the arrow just moved, but forget that for a moment. Right now, I have a magnetic field, but no current, because nothing is changing. But the idea is if I take the magnet out, ooh, negative current. I put the magnet in, positive current. So if you want to reverse a direction of current, then you would reverse the direction of your magnet that's moving. Yeah, either that, yeah. So either when you see going in versus going out reverses the current, but you're right, I can also go from north to south, and then going in, gives me a negative, the opposite that we have before and going out gives positive. And the trick is the fastest you change the magnetic field, the bigger the current you're going to get. And then you can generate, essentially I can have a constant power supply if I just move my magnet constantly in and out, in and out, in and out, then this will be a constantly generated current. It will be alternating current, it will constantly change direction. But that actually is the current that we get in our power supplies. This is what we get from the power companies. And essentially, that's how many power companies generate currents. They just move a magnet near a bunch of wires. And that's how you get power. So, we don't need batteries, we just need magnets. Nice.